Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is me, and they call me Heat. Got my little dude here today. Say, what's up, man? What's up, everybody? Yeah! Before we get this video started, please, guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell button because I don't want you to miss any more of this content. And after the video, be sure to comment. Let me know, you know, if you have any questions at all. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so recently I got a question about um, how I hook up my machine MK3 to the SP404 and how I route that so that um, I can basically sample from the, the SP into the machine and then, you know what I'm saying, have everything running through the computer, coming out the speakers and all of that. So today, I'm just gonna show you guys how I route everything, how I set it all up so that everything works, um, you know what I'm saying, together. So let's get into it. All right, so as y'all see, on the, the MK3, of course, has its own um, inputs and outputs here. Um, when I stand it up here, we have a line in there and we have a line out right here. Um, now, the line, these are quarter inch, you know what I'm saying, inputs or you know hookups. So everything that's in here, quarter inches, so one fourth basically. Um, same thing for the line out, you know, quarter inch, right? And then that all hooks up, you know, of course, to the SP. Now people want to know how I hook it up, how I set it all up and make it all work together. So I want to show you guys how I do that. As I just showed you, the machine has an in and out, right? So the machine out, I have going in to the SP404, which the SP404 has RCA inputs. So let me show you what that looks like. So the output line out from the machine here goes to the ends right here to my SP404. So whenever I play something through the machine, it goes through here. Then the output of this 404 goes into my Apollo interface from, like I showed you, RCA, RCA, these are all RCA, meaning they, they're these like old school looking analog cords right here. So I have the machine out going from a quarter inch cable, turning into a RCA end. So that's what that looks like. And then I said, like I said, the output of the SP404 going in to my Apollo interface here through a quarter inch. So I bought a, a RCA one end for the 404 to a quarter inch, um, to a quarter inch end for the for the input of this. Now my Apollo, it is, it's not like my other interface, so it doesn't have all the extra inputs. So what I have to do is I have to swap out my mic and then my um, SP from time to time whenever I'm just making beats. If I'm not recording vocals, um, I do unhook the mic and then just run the SP into the interface. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how that all set up, how it's all set up so when I run, I'm doing a beat in here or I'm sampling through here, um, I can run those effects through the 404. I'm gonna show you how that works together and then I'll show you in the computer how you need to set yours up so that it looks so that the machine and the 404 listen to each other going into the, the actual interface itself here. So let's get into that. So now let's talk about how to set everything up in the computer to get everything to talk to each other. What you have to do now is you have to use the, because the, the MK3, since it has its own like ins and outs, it has its own interface, audio interface basically. So you have to use the machine MK3's interface in order to run it out into the SP404 back into the, the system. So I'm gonna show you that, let's look at that. So specifically here, as you see, I have the ACO driver running, but the device that's running is the MK3. And then my output is, or the machine L and R, which is the output, or the input, I'm sorry. This is the input button right here. The input is the left and right, which basically is my, is the out from my system here going back into the, into the machine. I can sample from the computer from the output of this into here and then run those effects through here and then sample this back into the system or sample it back into here because everything coming through here goes into the system out from here back into the machine. So everything that's coming from this is going back into here. So anything I'm sending through here or from here 
goes in here and then I can route it through here for effects and then resample everything like that. My output is set up for the machine main left and right, which is one and two. And those are the outputs that are here going into the 404 here. So I'm gonna show you what that sounds like. So I have a, a quick beat here. <laughs> So as you see, that beat is playing and it's picking up over here. Now what I can do is I can play that beat and I can add simple effects to that like this. That's pretty much how you get you know everything running from the machine into the 404 into the system now what I can do is I can make another video just showing you guys how I sample everything from the computer into the 404 and then back into the SP for you know specific effects I can make another video for that as well but specifically I just want to show you guys how I route the machine into the 404 back into the computer so that you can use your effects or you can record this beat into something else, you know, or you can record it into the 404 and resample if you want to do it that way. But I just wanted to show you guys how I can use my effects and do everything in there and then route it into something else or, you know, resample it back into the machine if I want to do it that way. So that's just how I, that's how I do that. Um, but again, like I said, I can make another video showing you guys how to sample from the system into the machine and then using the SP404 for those specific effects if there's any effects that you need to use. One more time, I'm gonna run through everything really quick here, one more time. What we do is we run the line out of the machine into the 404 to get and we run the 404 into the interface whatever interface you have you don't have to have the apollo but whatever interface you have you can run the 404 from you know from the 404 into the interface and then it goes into the system for you and there you go you can have your effects if you want to even if you have another if you don't have the machine, but you have something else, you can run a MPC or whatever through here, through the 404, back into the system that way. So that's kind of how I do that. And again, what I do is I, like I said, I have you know my 404 going in here, but then I can send the interface back into the machine to sample in it and then send this into here. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you uh, comment below if you have any more questions. Um, it definitely will help me. Please guys, don't forget to hit that bell button because you will miss my content if you do not hit that bell. Please don't forget. All right guys, so until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.